Breaking the news for today for the uh, International Space Station. A set of small amateur radio satellites that hitched a ride to the orbiting complex aboard the Japanese H-2 transfer vehicle back in late July are being released into space. That uh, demonstrates another capability of the space station as well as the uh, science. Each satellite is dedicated to research. Just a couple of weeks ago, flight engineer Aki Hoshide had mounted the uh, small satellites known as CubeSats in the uh, Japanese experiment module's small satellite orbital deployer that is being used to release the satellites. The satellites were affixed to a slide table that carried them through the airlock. Thank you very much. With hatches closed on the station side, Hoshide commanded the slide table through the airlock and the hatches open to the uh, space side. And in a choreographed steps between Hoshide and flight controllers on the ground, they uh, commanded the Japanese experiment module's remote manipulator system, or the uh, robotic arm, to grapple the extended slide table. Aki then uh, released the lock that holds the multipurpose experiment platform onto the table. The arm extracted the deployer from the slide table, and Hoshide then retracted the table back into the airlock. The robotic arm was then moved to a deploy position that doesn't interfere with the space station. That a small satellite orbital deployer has two pods or chutes that uh, holds up to three satellites. There are a total of five satellites. Flight engineer Hoshide then worked with the ground to command the release of the first two satellites. The first satellite was released in orbit about a half hour ago, after a, a countdown from 3 to launch at 9.37 a.m. Central Time, Hoshide then sent congratulations to the team on the successful deployment on the uh, 55th anniversary of Sputnik 1, the first satellite ever to be launched into space by the Russians that initiated the Great Space Race. Meanwhile, deployment demonstrates the, uh, another capability of the space station to uh, deploy satellites from it as opposed to uh, another launch vehicle before reducing a uh, that's good, but deploying small satellite from satellite and so case one is complete congratulations for the uh, first three satellites to be deployed uh, in a new method on the anniversary of Sputnik. That's great. And uh, we are browsing and we are screaming some people. Uh, that's fantastic. Thank you very much for the finishing case one. This is Mission Control Houston. We're looking at an uh, earlier replay a video that uh, had captured the uh, first set of uh, satellites that were deployed in orbit. There were uh, two satellites. Those are uh, two satellites known as RACO and We Wish. RACO uh, for a second case uh, deployment, just to let you know, uh, uh, it's done. It, it will be done per timeline. Uh, we are aiming to deploy it uh, 15 colon 45, 44, correction, sorry. That'd be 1544, thank you very much. And uh, I believe there's no uh, clean-up steps for the GEM RMS on our side, is that right? That's I affirm uh, no action for you for clean-up. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much and congratulations once again. Looking forward to case number two. In a series of choreographed steps between Hoshide and flight controllers on the ground, 
They commanded the uh, Japanese experiment module's remote manipulator system with a robotic arm to grapple that extended slide table. The uh, small satellite orbital deployer is attached to. Aki then had released the lock that holds the multipurpose experiment platform onto the table. The arm extracted the uh, deployer from the slide table. And flight engineer Hoshide then retracted the table back into the airlock. That uh, robotic arm was then moved to a deploy position that does not interfere with the space station. Flight engineer Hoshide had worked with the ground to command the release of the first two satellites. Again, the first set of those uh, satellites was released here at 9.37 a.m. Central Time. And we are just minutes away from the second set. The uh, small satellite orbital deployer shown here on the right hand corner of your screen has two pods or chutes that uh, holds up to three uh, satellites. On, to, on my mark, uh, deploying satellite. Three, two, one, mark. And we have a release of the uh, second set of small satellites. As the International Space Station flies at an altitude of about 250 statute miles, coming across the North Pacific Ocean on a southeastern track, just about to uh, enter a, uh, an orbital sunrise. Again, this is the second successful launch of the uh, small amateur radio satellites. demonstrating yet another capability of the space station. And we'll also demonstrate uh, science research as dedicated for each of those satellites. This uh, second set of satellites carry, uh, are three satellites. These satellites are about three pounds each. and. Uh, Of these three satellites, there are the FITSAT-1, FITSAT-1 will demonstrate the uh, visible light communication experiment by high power LED. And then also the TechEdSAT, developed by the San Jose State University, or developed by students at the San Jose State University, that uh, is set to demonstrate plug and play hardware and new, new communication hardware. Uh, we see a good deploy. Congratulations once again. We do the same, and uh, like the previous time, we are browsing and we are screaming, and that's really fantastic. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Cuba. Five years ago, we launched satellites from Earth. Today, we launched them from a spacecraft. Fifty years from now, I wonder where we're launching from. Thank you very much, Sunny and Aki. Uh, it's a we've completed epoch making work representing all the team, especially from Kibot uh, Robotics team. We worked very hard uh, day and night, so thank you very much for making this happen today.